Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hi, dear students. It's me, Afsal. First of all, I hope you all are safe and secure at your home. From previous class, we had studied a grammar, an important grammar that if we use a masculine noun as a subject in Arabic sentence, that related verb, pronouns and everything will change to masculine. Like that, if we use a feminine noun as a subject in Arabic sentence, that related verb and pronouns everything will change to feminine. Already we studied that one. After that, I had given you a homework to change the following sentence, following masculine sentence to feminine. First, let us discuss that. These are the following sentence to do homework. First one, This sentence masculine or feminine? Yeah, what? Masculine. How you got that one? Al-waladu. This subject now, al-waladu, boy. That word is subject. So, this sentence is masculine. How can change it to feminine? First, you have to change the subject to feminine. Which word is subject? Al-waladu. Zahaba, that's meaning when. Al-waladu, boy. Ilal madrasati, to school. So, al-waladu, that is subject. Please change this subject to feminine. How can change that feminine? Al-walad. Walad, boy. So, that's opposite word. Feminine word, bint. So, write al-bint. 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 We change the subject as a feminine. Al-bint, girl. So, if we change, if we change the subject as a feminine, that verb and pronouns also will change to feminine. So, where is verb? Zahaba. So, this word also going to change. Zahabat. Zahabat. Zahabatil bintu ilal madrasati. Zahabatil bintu ilal madrasati. Okay, once more, the habal waladu ilal madrasati. The boy he went to the school. So, how can change this sentence to feminine? First, you have to change the subject. Al waladu. We changed that one as a bint. So, if the if the subject is feminine, that related verb also want to change feminine. So, we changed the haba as a the habat. You got it? Next. Qara'at Talib al-Qur'ana. Qara'at Talib al-Qur'ana. Recited. Who? A Talib. Student. Al-Qur'an. What? Qur'an. Student. He recited. Qur'an. This so, sentence is masculine or feminine? Which one? Masculine. Isn't it? So, a Talib. Talib means student. This, this word is subject. Subject is a masculine. So, this sentence also masculine. So, how can you change this one to feminine? First, you have what? Student. So, please change that one to feminine. How can you change this subject as a feminine? Talib student. What will do? Talibat. So, how can you change this one? At Talibat. At Talibat. At Talibat. So now subject now subject is feminine. So that related verb also want to change as karaat talibu al Quran. We changed that subject at talibatu. Now want to change this verb. How can change that verb? Please put the one t. Karaat at talibatu. Karaati talibatu. Karaati talibatu. Now clear? Karaati talibatu al-Qur'ana. Student, 
recited Quran. But this sentence is masculine, but here feminine. Okay. Next one, Katabal Mudarrisu Ar Risalata. Meaning, teacher is a teacher wrote a letter. Teacher wrote a letter. This sentence is masculine or feminine? Masculine. How you got that one? That subject is masculine. That subject is masculine. Mudar is a teacher. That masculine. So this verb also masculine. This sentence total masculine. How can you change this to feminine? Please type subject. Subject is mother is a teacher. So please change that one to feminine. How can you change that subject as a feminine? Look, mother is a, so you just put there one ta. Mother is a. Mother is a. So subject is feminine. How can you change that one, that verb? Kataba. So how can you change? Katabat. Katab. Please put one. Ta. T. Katabati. Katabatil mudarisatu. Katabatil mudarisatu. Katabatil mudarisatu. So we change it as a feminine. Once more, kataba mud katabal mudarisu atisalata. Teacher wrote a letter. So we change that one kat to feminine katabatil mudarisatu arisalata. Okay. Next one. Jaal abu ilal baiti. What's meaning? Father came to the house. Father came to the house. Jaa came al abu who father ilal bay to house. How can change? How can change this masculine as a feminine? How can change it? Al abu. Which word is subject? Please change to feminine. Al abu. Abu. So instead of that, we can add the al ummu. Al ummu. Is it feminine? Al um. So subject is feminine. Now that verb also want to change as a feminine. How can change? Jaat. Jaat. Jaatil ummu ilal baiti. Jaatil ummu ilal baiti. Mother came to the house. Okay. Next one. Akala Muhammadun al khubza. Muhammad ate the bread. Muhammad ate the bread. So how can you change this masculine as a feminine? Please take the subject. Which word is subject? Muhammad. Instead of that, please add the one feminine. Okay, Muhammad. Instead of that, you can add the Muhammad or Fatima. Any name? Any girl's name? Fatima. 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 Next, that verb also want to change it to feminine. How can you change that one? Akalat. Please put there one. Akalati. Akalati Fatima to al -Hubza. Fatima ate the bread. These are the questions we change to feminine. I think you did well. Please check it where you wrote is correct or not. Now we studied if the subject is masculine, that verb also masculine. If the subject is feminine, that verb also feminine. But that pronouns also want to change masculine and feminine according to the subject. How we will do that? Let us look 13th page. Nulahidul fikrata wa nukarinuha bin nasi thumma nektashifu tabdeelat. Total meaning, you can note it. Let us observe the paragraph, comma, compare the to the lesson and find out the changes. The following paragraph we already studied in our lesson, but in this paragraph have little bit changes. We have to find out that. Let us read. وَبَعْدُ أُسْبُوِنْ سُرِحَتُ فَاتِمَةُ مِنَ الْمُسْتَشْفَةِ وَبَعْدُ أُسْبُوِنْ After a week, سُرِحَتُ فَاتِمَةُ Fatima got discharged مِنَ الْمُسْتَشْفَةِ from hospital. In our lesson, we studied وَبَعْدُ أُسْبُوِنْ سُرِحَ جَاسِرٌ مِنَ الْمُسْتَشْفَةِ Jasir got di discharged from hospital. So what changes here? 
In our lesson, we used Suriha Jasir. Jasir is a masculine. Then here Fatima. Fatima is a feminine. So that verb we changed to feminine. Suriha to Fatima. So I am going to write that changes. Suriha Jasir. We studied in our lesson Suriha Jasir. Jasir got discharged. But here. In this paragraph, we studied Suriha, Suriha till Suriha to Fatima, Suriha Fatima, Suriha Fatima. What change here? In our lesson, we used Jasir, so masculine. So that verb also masculine, Suriha Jasir. But here we used Suriha to Fatima. Fatima is a feminine, so this verb also feminine, Suriha to Fatima. How can change the verb to feminine? So you have to put one to. Okay, Surihat Fatima. That's first change. Next step. One is a to be bubi is sirahat shahirin. One is After a week, Fatima got discharged from hospital. That time, one is a to be bubi is sirahat shahirin. Doctor advised her one month rest. One is Advised her at Tobibu who doctor Bisrahat shared in one month rest. But in our lesson we studied Nasahahu Tobibu. Nasahahu Tobibu. I am going to write that word. Nasahahu Tobibu. Nasahahu Tobibu. But here Nasahaha. Nasahaha. What change here? Nasahahu Tobibu. Doctor advised him. Because there Jasir. Jasir is a masculine. Who means advised him? Him. Him. Nasahahu means him. That meaning. Here Fatima. That's why we use the her. Her. Here, who? That's meaning him. Okay. In our lesson, we used Jasir. That's why Nasahahu Atobibu. We used him. Nasahahu advised him. There, Jasir. But here, Fatim. Fatim is a feminine. So we want to use the ha, her. Nasaha advised her. Who? Atobibu. Doctor. Okay. You got the change? Next one. That sign in the evening, Kanat Fatima. Kanat Fatima to Jali Satan Al Ari Kati. Fatima was sitting in a sofa, Bijani Bi Ummiha, near, he, near her mother. Near her mother. Once more, that sign in the evening, Kanat Fatima to Fatima was Jali Satan was sitting Al Ari Kati in a sofa, Bijani Bi Ummiha, near her mother. But we studied in our lesson that sign in the evening. Kana Jasirun Jasir was Jalisan was sitting alalarikat in a sofa. Bijani bi ummihi near his mother. What change here? I am going to write that one. Kana Jasiru. Jalisan, Kana Jasirun, Jalisan. But here, Kanat Fatima to Kanat Fatima to Jalisatan. Fatima to Jalisatan. In our lesson, we studied Jasir is a, fem, is a masculine word. So that verbals, verb and proverb, everything want to change as a masculine. That's why ka, Jasir, masculine. So this verb, kana, no need of ta, kana was. Jalisan was sitting. Okay, that's enough. But here, Fatima, Fatima is a feminine. So we changed that one, kanati. One ta is needed. Kanati Fatima tu. Then Jalisan only there. But here Jalisatan. Because why? Fatima is a feminine. One ta is needed. Okay. Next one. 
ವಹಿಯ ತುಷಾ ಇದು ತಿಲ್ಫಾಜ್ ವಹಿಯ ತುಷಾ ಇದು ತಿಲ್ಫಾಜ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಜಾಸಿರ್ ಹಿ ಯುಷಾ ಇದು ಯುಷಾ ಇದು ಯುಷಾ ಇದು ಯುಷಾ ಇದು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಹೂ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ಶಿ ಫಾತಿಮ ದರ್ ಜಾಸಿರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಯುಷಾ ಇದು ಕೆ ತುಷಾ ಇದು ತುಷಾ ಇದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಫಲ್ತಫತ್ ಇಲೈಹ ಫಾತಿಮತು ವಕಾಲತ್ ಫಲ್ತಫತ್ ಫಲ್ತಫತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಇಲೈಹ ಟು ಹರ್ ಟು ಮದರ್ ಇಲೈಹ ಟು ಹರ್ ಫಾತಿಮತು ಫಾತಿಮ ವಕಾಲತ್ ದೆನ್ ಶಿ ಸೆಟ್ ವಕಾಲತ್ ದೆನ್ ಶಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಇಲ್ತಫತ 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 ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ತ ಇಲ್ತಫತ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಲ್ತಫತ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ತಫತ ಜಾಸುರ್ ಜಾಸುರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಇಲೈಹ ಇಲಿಹ ಅಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ಹರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮದರ್ ಫಾತಿಮ ವಕಾಲತ್ ವಕಾಲ 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 ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಇಲ್ತಫತ ಇಲ್ತಫತ ಟರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಹೂ ಜಾಸುರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಇಲೈಹ ಟು mother wakala then said wakala means then said but here we use it iltafatat ilta fa tat iltafatat one ta is extra why here fatima fatima is a feminine iltafatat ilaiha ilaiha means same one ilaiha to mother to mother wakalat wakalat here one ta is extra why fatima fatima is a feminine she said she said that's why we use it kalat here wakala that only why jasir is a masculine no need of ta that one change next one fatima she turned to mother then she said aina ikuduki mother where is your necklace ya habi ummi oh mother where is your ನೆಕ್ಲೈಸ್ ಲಿಮಲ ತಲ್ಬಸೀನೋ ವೈ ಯು ಡಿಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಜಾಬತಿಲ್ ಉಮ್ಮು ಮದರ್ ಶಿ ರಿಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಬಿ ಹನಾನ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಲಕದ್ ಬಿಣಲ್ ಇಕ್ದ ಯಾ ಹಬೀಬತಿ ಲಕದ್ ಬಿಣಲ್ ಇಕ್ದ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಲೈಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಲೈಸ್ ಯಾ ಹಬೀಬತಿ ಓ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ in our lesson we use it lakad bi'nal hikda we have solved ya habibi no need of ta because the jasir jasir is a masculine that one change ya habibi ya habibi ya no need of ta because mothering to jasir no need of ta jasir is a masculine ya habibi that's meaning oh my dear but here mother called to the fatima ya habibati oh my dear ya habibati one ta is needed why that ya habibati because fatima she is a feminine so one ta is needed ya habibati okay next anti in the aghla min kulli jawharatin mother she is continuing anti in the fatima you are my agla min kulli jawharatin most expensive than every jewel antindi you are my agla min kulli jawharatin most expensive than every jewel but we use it there in our lesson anta indi anta you anti same word you but there jasir so no need of anti only anta so that one change anta indi anta anta indi that's meaning you are my anta indi because why there anta jasir is a masculine but here we use it anti 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 indi anti indi anti indi you are my jewel because he, uh, we are use it there here anti why fatima is a feminine ಓಕೆ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಅಗ್ಲಾ ಮಿನ್ ಕುಲಿ ಜವರ್ ಅಥಿನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಜುವೆಲ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಿವ್ ಜುವೆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಜುವೆಲ್ ಫಿ ಇಲನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಂತಿ ಜವಹರತಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತಿ 
धर वी यूज इट अंता हियर अंति अंति जवहराती योर माय ज्वेल बट धर मदर आस्क इट मदर सेट टू जासिर अंता इंदी यू आर माय ज्वेल धर वी यूज इट अंता हियर अंति वाई धर मस्कुले हियर फेमिने दीज आर द चेंजेस वंस मोर आई एम गोइंग टू रीड सुरिहत सुरिह जासुर जासुर गॉड डिस्चार्ज सुरिहत फातिमा फातिमा गॉड डिस्चार्ज सेम मीनिंग बट वन चेंज इज केम व्हाट चेंज सुरिह जासुर जासुर गॉड डिस्चार्ज नो नीड ऑफ द बट हियर फेमिनेन दैट्स व्हाई वी वांट टू यूज द त सुरिहत फातिमा फातिमा गॉड डिस्चार्ज नेक्स्ट वन नसाहु तबीबु डॉक्टर एडवाइज्ड हिम बट हियर नसाहु तबीबु Doctor advised her. Why? There, Jasir. That's why we used him. But here, Fatima, feminine. So we used here, ha, her. Next one, ha, advised her. Next one, Kana Jasir and Jalisan. Jasir was sitting. No need of that. But Kana to Fatima Jalisan. Then Fatima was sitting. So here, one ta is needed because Fatima is a feminine. Next one, Yushahidu. He is watching. No need of ta, but here to shy she is watching. This ta is needed. Next one, iltafata ilaiha wakala. Jasir he turned to mother, then he said, so, no need of ta. But here look iltafata. Fatima she turned ilaiha to mother wakala. Then she said, verb how can change it to feminine? We want to add there one t. Okay. Next, ya habibi, oh my dear. To whom? To whom? Jasir. No need of ta. But here, ya habibati. Oh my dear. Here ta is needed. Why? Fatima. Mother. She is calling Fatima. Here anta indi. Anta. We use the anta because Jasir is a masculine. But here anti indi. Here we use it anti. Why? The Fatima is a feminine. These are the changes. Please just note it. Next activity. Not all of the fukat one Allahu iba tama kana juha tum manak tubu. Total meaning. Let us enjoy a fun. Not all of the fukat. Let us enjoy a fun. One Allahu. Let us put hiba ta. Hiba one girl name. Ma kana juha instead of juha. Tum manak tubu. Let us write. Total meaning. Let us enjoy a fun. And write hiba instead of juha. You got it. Under that, you can see one paragraph. This paragraph is story about juha. Juha, did you hear that? Juha, hoja, hoja. Did you hear that? Hoja. Hoja is a masculine. So. This masculine noun you can change as a hiba. Hiba means a girl's name. Instead of juha, please paste the hiba, one girl name. So if the subject is feminine, that related verb and pronoun, everything want to change feminine. So this paragraph is a masculine. So we want to change to feminine by using hiba. A girl's name instead of Juha. Are you ready? First, let us discuss the meaning. Lahla al khatama kad kharaja. Lahla al khatama kad kharaja. The meaning: the ring may have gone out. The ring may have gone out. Let us read. Allah khatam Juha daakhil baiti falam yajduhu wa kharaj min al bait baithan anhu wa bada yanzur amam al bab sa'alahu al jar ya Juha limadha anta fil kharij fi hadha al waqt araka baithan an shay qala Juha Allah khatami daakhil al bait wa al zalam mumtali fihi la'al al khatam qad kharaj Allah khatam Allah Allah means lost Allah lost Khatam, khatam means ring. Law, lost. Students, please note this meaning. Very important. If you get this meaning, easily we can change it to feminine. Okay. Law, lost. Khatam, ring. Whose ring? Juha. Juha's ring is lost. 
داخلا داخلا means inside داخلا inside داخلا بيتي inside his home بيت means بيت house بيته his home inside his home فلم يجدو but he didn't get فلم فلم يجدو he didn't get once more الله lost خاتم جها جها string is lost داخلا بيتي inside his inside his house falam yajidu he didn't get falam yajidu he didn't get the total meaning juha's ring is lost inside his house but he didn't get wa kharaja minal baiti he came out of the house once more wa kharaja minal baiti he came out of the house wa kharaja he came out minal baiti of the house ba'ithan anhu ba'ithan anhu for searching the ring wa kharaja once more wa kharaja minal baiti he came out of the house ba'ithan anhu for searching wa badaha wa bada means he started he started yanzuru amam al babi to search he started to search amam al babi in front of house in front of door not a house in front of door wa badaha he started yanzuru to search amam al babi amam means in front amam al babi in front of the door in front of the door wa bada yanzuru he searched he searched in front of the door sa'alahu sa'alahu asked him asked to whom to hoja asked to hoja to juha al jaruhu the neighbor neighbor asked him sa'alahu al jaru neighbor asked him jar means jar neighbor sa'alahu asked him who neighbor his neighbor asked him sa'alahu asked him ya juha o juha o juha limada anta fil kharij fi hadha al waqt what's the meaning total meaning limada anta fil kharij fi hadha al bayt why you are in outside why you are in outside your home limada anta why you why you are why you are feel kharij in outside fi hadha al waqt in this time in this time why you are in outside total meaning limada anta fil kharij fi hadha al waqt fi hadha al waqt why you are in outside hoja in this time araka then that neighbor is continuing araka i think araka means i think baithan and shain you are searching something you are searching i think you are searching something araka that neighbor he is continuing he is saying what araka araka i think baithan and shain you are searching something fuck once more limada anta his neighbor he asked he said what limada anta fil kharij fi hadha al waqt o hoja o juha why you are in outside in this time araka baitan and shain i think you are searching something qala juha our juha he replied what laha khatami dakhil al baiti laha law means is lost khatimi my ring is lost dakhil al bayt inside the house law khatimi dakhil al bayt my ring is lost inside the house wallalam mumtalim fihi wallalam mumtalim fihi means there inside the house there full of darkness full of darkness wallalam mumtanim mumtalim fihi that's meaning there full of darkness his is ring is lost inside the house but they are full of darkness wallalam means darkness mumtalim fi full of so wallalam mumtalim fi they are full of darkness la'al al khatama la'al al khatama the ring qad kharaja the ring may have gone out my ring is lost inside the house they are full of darkness may the ring have gone out okay is one small story but instead of juha instead of juha please change the hiba as a girl's name so that subject become a feminine so that related verb and pronouns everything want to change it. this your homework once more i am going to say the meaning lal al khatama qad kharaja the ring may have gone out 
لوہا خاتمی خاتم جہا داخل بیتی فلم یہ جد ہو جہا رنگ اس لوست داخل بیتی انسیڈ دا ہاو انسیڈ ہس ہوم فلم یہ جد ہو بٹ ہی ڈیڈن گیٹ و خرج من البیتی باعت انہم ہو ہی کیم آؤٹ آف دی ہاؤس فور سرچی و بدا یندر امام البابی ہی سرچٹ امام البابی ان فرنڈ آف ہز ڈور سعالہ الجارو دا ٹائم ہز نیبر آسکڈ ہم یا جوہا ہو جوہا لما دا انت فی الخارج فی هذا الوقت و یو آر ان آؤٹ سائیڈ آف دیس آف دا آؤس ان دیس ٹائم آراک باعتن انشین ای تنگ یو آر سرچنگ سمتنگ کال جوہا جوہا انسرڈ replied Allah khatami dakhil al-bayti my ring is lost inside my home wallalam mumtalim fihi they're full of darkness la'alla al-khatama qad haraja sometime the ring may have gone out these are the meanings instead of juha please add the hiba then please change verb and pronouns everything you have to change too Feminine. That's your homework. Please just note it. Now we complete uh, these meanings. Then I had given you a homework. Common changes in feminine and masculine. I want to show you. First, uh, please just note it. It's very important. Common changes. common changes masculine and feminine common changes common changes in feminine and masculine first verb you know that masculine one i am going to write one verb kana an example kana was kana so feminine how can change this one kanat 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 one ta is needed next who who or he what is meaning who or he his his or him his or him this will change to his him how can change to feminine him her okay ha ha that's mean her so common changes in verb common changes in feminine and masculine first day, verb first day, verb that's we want to put one ta for feminine second day, masculine who or he that's his him that want to change to ha her next day anta anta meaning anta what's meaning you we want to add change to anti same meaning anti same meaning you next one some proverbs i am going to show the some two examples in masculine that one janison but we want to add change it to feminine as a jali satan jali satan next example ya habibi for masculine but here feminine ya habibati ya habibati These are the common changes in feminine and masculine. Please just note it in your note, notebook. Very important. Verb, feminine, one ta. Then pronouns change who and he want to change ha. Anta in masculine but feminine anti. One example, two examples. Jalisan in masculine but that same word in feminine, jalisatan. Ya Habibi. So, if you want to call to masculine, Ya Habibi. But in feminine, you can call Ya Habibati. These are the common changes in feminine and masculine. Please just note it. Today, we are going to wind up our class. 
I think everyone has understood today's class. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. I will clear your doubts, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.